Got it. This episode, we're talking about things you should not do on LinkedIn and three tips to help grow your organic reach. Let's go. First of all, the three tips I'm gonna talk about today for LinkedIn are tips you likely haven't heard before. If you have heard about them, put them in the comments below. If you have any other tips that build on my three tips today, make sure you tell the audience, get in in the comments below. But let's get going right away with tip number one. Tip number one, and this is one of my special tips. This is something we discovered through creating and correcting on LinkedIn. When you're posting content to LinkedIn, do not put links in the text string, in the text that you're writing. When you p take people off platform on LinkedIn, it hurts your organic ranking, it deranks your content, and it starts to spiral down where you'll notice after posting a whole bunch of content in a row that has links in it, that your content starts to get a smaller organic reach. Then you have to uprank again, you have to wait some time, make sure you post content that stay keeps people on platform, that gets a longer watch time, to get back to where you want it to be. It's a general algorithm tip for any platform. Keep people on platform, the organic platform you're making content for. LinkedIn is one where it hurts you a lot when you take them off. Tip number two, if you're trying to reach out to a whole bunch of people and trying to get the message out about your niche, about your service, if you're trying to just network and find new connections on LinkedIn, one of the best ways to do it is groups. And the reason groups is tip number two, is any groups that you join, you don't have to be connected with the person to send them a message and you don't have to burn valuable in-mails or have LinkedIn premium to send people messages within that group. So get involved in a lot of groups that relate to your service niece, to your products, to what you know, to where you are a subject matter expert. It is going to help you reach out to more people, utilize that tool, send out messages, get to know people, get connections within your sphere. It's gonna help your network grow. Tip number three, abuse it and you will lose it. I am saying that because do not connect with everybody on LinkedIn that you possibly can. There was a lot of people that were doing that the last couple years. They were connecting with as many people as possible and that's fine. They had their LinkedIn lion or they were trying to get as many connections as possible. However, if you connect with everybody and enough people report that they don't know who you are, then you need to have the person's email every single time you try to connect with somebody. When you're starting on LinkedIn, you don't need everyone's email. You can try to connect with people that are secondary connections. You can try to get out there and create as many connections as possible with people that actually know you. But if you get reported, you start to lose that. You're gonna to have to have everyone's email and it gets a lot harder to connect with people, even people you know. So keep your connections tight. Try to build them with people that you've discussed with, that you already have warm touch points with, that know who you are. It's going to help you develop your audience and get you more organic reach on all the content that you post over time. Boom, woo! Three tips, knocked off this video really fast. I hope it provided you with some value. Those are three tips not a lot of people talk about. I think there's at least one or two in there that you have not heard before. If you've learned something new, make sure you hit that like button. It helps me out a lot as I try to make better content every single day. My name is Jared Vandermeer and I make digital marketing tip videos just like this on YouTube all the time. So hit that subscribe button as well if you want. You do you and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. That's all for now.